a very good evening to you and a warm welcome to Tanner Ice Park in Dundee, where you join us on one of the coldest nights of the year for tonight's Scottish Cup replay between Dundee United and Aberdeen. Everything to play for also at Recreation Park between Allo and Queen of the South, a report on that match later. Well, the glittering prize for the winners of tonight's match here is an away game against Rangers in the quarter-final. Let's pick up the team news right away by joining our commentator, Jock Brown. So a snowstorm has relented as United start the match. And the team news, as indicated by Arthur Montford, is that United have made three changes out. Go French, Bowman and Krivokovic. And into the side come Mead, McGuinness and Billy McKinley into the midfield. There's McKinley in ball straight away. And with Kimmy in trouble, here's Jim McAnally. Now McKinley outside the box for United. That's well taken by Snelders. And for Dundee United, introducing Billy McKinley to this cup tie. Certainly has made an impact already. There's the control from McKinley, the rapid shot, and some excellent goalkeeping by Snelders. Aberdeen have only one change from Saturday's lineup. As Kevin Gallagher sprints in, and that's a fine piece of goalkeeping again by Theo Snelders. A great example of the pace of Kevin Gallagher. Gallagher did well, he's away from Robertson. McLeish goes across. A fine ball played across there by Kevin Gallagher. It was whipped across, and Stuart McKimmy was only too pleased to turn that behind for the corner kick. Superb play this from Gallagher. I just look at the quality of the cross. Just out of reach for Snelders, but no United player close enough. And McKimmy turned it behind. So Billy McKinley will take the corner. Right to the far post. A chance for John Clark. And it was Petalainen in the air who caused all the problems. John Clark, normally so deadly. Having the shot charged down. The ball flighted into the far post. Look how well Patalainen got up. There was John Clark on his left foot with a volley, which was blocked by Irvin. Now McLeish. Same for John Hewitt, and he was in line with the last defender, so a free kick to United for offside. It's already taken. Gallagher to meet. Here's Gallagher on the break on the right. Good play from United. Patalainen waits in the middle, McKinley is also there. Excellent goalkeeping once more from Theo Snelders. The pace of that United attack really was impressive. Mead was the player who released Kevin Gallagher. A fine cross, Patalainen was underneath it, and there was Snelders. Miscue there from Paul Hegarty, who appeared to be caught in two minds when the ball was in the air, whether to come and head it or play it with his right foot there's Nicholas fine effort there from Charlie Nicholas he's looking towards the referee for some kind of assistance and look at the way he created this shooting chance the dipping volley just wide of the target Irvin links up in midfield and a fine effort there from Irvin well saved by Thompson well, good play this from Ryan Irvin, coming forward from his back four position, seeing the shooting chance, and Billy Thompson appeared to see that late. Thompson's committed. That's good handling by the keeper. Not easy tonight, a bit of swirling wind and a damp ball. Kickout's not proving too easy for either goalkeeper tonight. What a foul pass may have considered a corner kick, yes. A rare error from the international fullback. Keeps the pressure on the United defence. So United pulling everyone back inside the box without exception. John Hewitt lining up the in swinger. And well taken by Thompson at the second attempt. It was a dummy by Alec McLeish which caused all the problems. And Paul Wright was waiting for the error. Look at this ball coming in. Look at the way McLeish leaves it. That deceived the United defenders. There was Thompson full stretch with Wright closing in. 
Gannacar held up there by Robertson. That'll be a free kick for United. John Clark and Billy McKinley have a little confab. Will Simpson waits at the edge of the box. Good shot by Clark to Gallagher. Trying to find a way past Ian Robertson. John Hewitt goes to help. Good ball back. There's Hegarty waiting in the middle. Led in again by Gallagher. Mead trying to chest it down. There's Patalainan. Fine goalkeeping once again from Stelders. United keeping the pressure on with some inventive play on the right. It was Gallagher in the end lofting the ball across. Mead chesting it back into the path of Patalainan for the first time shot. It's well taken by Snelders. And Nicholas once again caught offside. Well judged by David Neri at the back for Dundee United. Frustration for Nicholas so far. Not ideal conditions for him either. John Clark's free kick, and there goes the half-time whistle, still no scoring and what has been an excellent match so far. Dundee United starting superbly, but Aberdeen clawing their way back into the match and setting up what will be undoubtedly a fascinating second half. The half-time scoring the Tannadise, that's second that's half underway, and they've made a very significant change for this period of the match. Brian Grant has come on to replace Robert Connor on the left side of midfield. Looks as though Connor may have taken an injury in that first half. That will offer some variety to the Aberdeen play at the start of the second half. And they will be mindful, I'm sure, of the fact that United started with a real bang in the first half. Their midfield took a very firm grip early on. But Aberdeen fought their way right back into contention throughout the second half. And the match currently is very evenly poised indeed. So Aberdeen still have Davy Dodds in reserve, back from suspension. He's on the bench. And United have uh, Krivokovic and Paul Sturrock available to come on before the end. And here's a throw to Andy United. The long ball in looking for Hegarty. It's headed out by Grant. And there's Bet. Davy Dodds there on the Aberdeen bench. We may see him, I think, before the end. No free kick there as McKinley goes down, challenged by Nicholas. Here's Nicholas now in possession, threading that through towards Stewart. Clark has lost his bearings. A great chance now for Aberdeen. And nearly touched it away. With Paul Wright playing it across. The offside flag is up, and the golden opportunity is wasted for Aberdeen. John Hewitt going in on that pass from Charlie Nicholas, which caught the heel of John Clark. Clark lost his bearings, allowing Hewitt the clean run through and goal, checking inside, and there was Neri to touch the ball away. Gallagher playing it to the far side. Batalainen nodding it down for McGuinness, who's brought down by Simpson. A free kick has been given by referee Valentine. Ray McGuinness had a tremendous start to the match. Lovely Bob Valentine keeping a very vigilant eye on the proceedings. These sides so evenly matched. The tackling is tough in midfield and every move could turn out to be vital as far as the cut break comes from. And there's McAnally and it's Theo Stelders once again for Aberdeen. Oh, what an incredible debt is due to Stelders. Look at the way McAnally breached the defence. Got a forced and break there off the defence, and Stelders was down in a flash. Simpson and McAnally challenging. It's the Aberdeen player who brings it clear, but McAnally gets back quickly. A terrier in midfield. There's Brian Grant, tackled by McGuinness. This is Gallagher on the run now. Brought down there by Robertson, the referee allows the advantage. Gallagher still on the ground as Kovogovic comes inside, and that just needed a touch. And there will be action taken against Ian Robertson for the challenge on Gallagher. There was no free kick given for that. 
Jellica was on the deck there as Pivogovic came inside and that just needed a touch from Mead or McGuinness. Grant turning it forward now to Hewitt. A chance again for Aberdeen. Nicholas waits with right in the middle. You know, it's swinging cross. Mouth pass was there. There's Grant. Well, that was a superb defensive header there from Morris Malpass under intense pressure. John Hewitt going wide on the left. A fine left foot cross coming in now. And Malpass had to get up very well indeed to nod that out. Brian Grant with the first time header and Thompson was there. With off a pitch heading it on. There's Gallica. Negate hustled there by Nicholas. No free kick. Fine play from Aberdeen, it was Paul Wright going in and John Clark again came to the rescue of Dundee United. Well, Paul Wright was the Aberdeen striker denied. It was Charlie Nicholas who jousted there successfully with Paul Hegarty. A delightful pass through the gap. Paul Wright going in. Look at the pace there and the determination of Clark. Foul by Robertson on Krivokovic. So another substitution will be made by Dundee United. Paul Sturrock goes on to a tremendous welcome to replace Rafael Mead. There's John Clark now with the free kick. Headed on by Hegarty. Snelders came late for that. McInelly forcing it in and there's been a free kick awarded. But the line and penalised it appears. Was there an offside flag up? I doubt it. There was the ball played in, helped on by Hegarty. Now Snelder seemed to be caught in two minds there. Then he came for the ball, punching it away with a high challenge from Patalainen, penalised by the referee. Well, two very tough customers indeed colliding there. No harm to either player. And there goes the final whistle. The score at the end of 90 minutes. There's Dundee United nil, Aberdeen nil, and we now face half an hour of extra time. The Aberdeen fans behind the goal, trying to keep warm, waiting for extra time to begin. So it's Dundee United to start the first period of extra time. Referee Bob Valentine checks with his linesman. And we're off another half hour tonight. The referee Bob Valentine will be finding his fitness tested because... He was in charge of St. Merlin against Hibs last night at Love Street. So he's certainly on overtime this week. And there's a knock right at the start of the second half. It's Neil Simpson who's down. And the long ball forward chased by Neri on his own. And Simpson took a knock in the back. Right, looking for Nicholas. Headed inside for Bet. Hegarty was there. Here's Bet again. Nicholas is free. Nicholas trying to find a shooting chance. The United players now crowding around him. Well, that's well set up for McKimmy. The other cross inside, and that's well won by Hegarty inside the box. Well done again by Bet. There's McInally. Now McKimmy to Simpson. McGuinness wins it for United. Here's Kevin Gallagher. On the near side is Stark. Running out Irvin, great play from Stark. Getting the byline. It's clear by Stellar again. That came off Alec McLeish. And it's a penalty kick for handball. Alec McLeish is penalised for handball. Great play from Paul Stark as he goes outside by Irvin. Plays the ball in across the box. There was the handball by McLeish. Stellar thought of a miraculous save. But United get another chance from the penalty spot. Alec McLeish going wild as he protests to referee Valentine. So it's Patalainen against Snelders. Patalainen puts United ahead. We're three minutes into extra time. Miksu Patalainen's 14th goal of the season. It's his fourth out of four from the penalty spot and there's the quality of his striking Snelder again guessing right but he had no chance in the end Robertson back to Hewitt 
The early cross this time. Up goes Nicholas. Here's Jim Bett. Delightful ball back inside. And Simpson couldn't reach it. The marker was Paul Hegarty. But the United defence appeared for a moment there to be opened up. Jim Bett chipping this ball across the six-yard box. In came Simpson. He couldn't get there for Paul Hegarty. Aberdeen still on the attack. Final minute of the first period of extra time. Up goes Irvin. And half time in extra time, I think. There's a free kick given, but no, the game still goes on. It's a free kick to Dundee United. And now the half time whistle goes. Some confusion there. But 15 minutes now remaining. United clinging to that one goal lead. And for the second period of extra time, Aberdeen make. The second substitution, David Dodds will replace Ian Robertson, so that's a very aggressive attacking move. Aberdeen have to throw everything forward now to try to save the match. Dodds joins the attack as Aberdeen start the second period of extra time. They're going to live dangerously, I think, with just three at the back. And the offside flag is up, Nicholas and Bet, I think, both offside. So there's David Neri with the free kick. He'll play it back to Billy Thompson. A few more precious seconds go by. header, there's Krivogovic Stalik and Makimi together now they're continuing with Malpass going back, right closing in here's Krivogovic under pressure from Bet just getting a little bit angry over there and a free kick goes to United in the end Simpson getting back into position Krivogovic was the player fouled now United appear to have things well in hand at the moment. Kimi doing well as Patalainen and now McGinnis. Here's Paul Sturrock. Looping in the cross, which is played away by Irvin, only to Kovakovic. Now McGinnis. Gallagher. Good play by Gallagher. Found the gap for the shot brilliantly. There was Gallagher using Clark as a decoy and turning inside for the shot, which was too straight at Snelders. Simpson winning it from Gallagher. Throw to Aberdeen. John Hewitt will take it. This is Grant. Hewitt using Irvin in the middle. Brian Irvin striding forward, looking for a shooting chance. Grant picks it up. This is McKimmy. Good ball for Bet if he can reach it in time. Keeping the ball in play. Cleared by Malpass, taking no chances again. Thumping the ball out of play. Aberdeen still looking for that flash of inspiration which would put them back on terms is Neil Simpson and the first time effort came from Stuart McKimmy but posed no threat for Billy Thompson in the United goal and the shot was so wide it's gone for a throw to United 10 minutes remaining there's Gallica. Across comes Irvin. Dodds is in behind McAnally. That was intended for Simpson. Paul Sturrock is offside. He's protesting that he was inside his own half. The linesman disagrees, and the free kick's been given. Alec McLeish waved forward now by Neil Simpson. 
will take the free kick. Well, not a very convincing free kick, but Kimi now has it. He's brought down by McAnally. The play goes on with Aberdeen possession. The police to shoot it. That's on the way by Hegarty for a corner kick. Well, Aberdeen now making an effort. He keeps going forward. Well, the referee appeared to give a corner kick, and indeed that's the decision. Paul Hegarty playing the ball first when he made that challenge. John Hewitt now. Lots of activity inside the box from Aberdeen players. There's the header and the equaliser for Aberdeen. It's scored by Brian Grant. Brian Grant wasn't picked up and he scored for Aberdeen to get them back on terms. Oh, what a shock for Dundee United. The orthodox corner kick right into the box. Nobody picked up Brian Grant and now we'll head up bouncing beyond Billy Thompson and Aberdeen are back on level terms. Neri lofting it forward. Up goes Irvin. Header by McKimmy. Here's Jim McAnally. Here's Neil Simpson. Now Hewitt. Collected by Clark. Wide is Sturrock. Back now with John Clark. This needs an accurate cross. And once again, Snelders is secure in goal. Never a semblance of an error on the keeper. He really has played brilliantly again. Just look at the way he collects this awkward swerving ball from John Clark. The attacker going in, Batalanian at the far post, but no mistake from Stellars. Touch forward there by McAnally. It's a throw at the far corner flag. And there goes the final whistle. Deadlock remains, the sides will have to meet all over again. The penalty kick by Mitsu Patalainen equalised in extra time by the header from Ryan Grant. So the final score, here at Tannadise, Dundee United 1, Aberdeen 1. So for Aberdeen and Dundee United, it's everything still to play for. But for Aloha, a marvellous night at Recreation Park. There's the score, Aloha 4, Queen of the South 2. In the first half, it was level pegging. Steve Ramsey scoring early on for Alloa. Then Kevin Hetherington making it 1-1 at half time. Then Charlie Litchman and two from Gus Smith pushed Alloa to 4-1. Queen of the South missed a penalty and Paul McDonald got a consolation goal for them later in the match to make it 4-2 for Alloa. I spoke to Gregor Abel after the game. He was absolutely delighted. He said, we're looking forward now to meeting Hibbs in the quarter final. And there's the revised quarter final draw, Celtic versus Hearts. Rangers versus Aberdeen or Dundee United, Morton against St Johnston, and pride of the second division tonight, Hibernian versus Alloa. One FA Cup result this evening, that replay at Old Trafford, Manchester United 1, Bournemouth 0, Brian McClare scoring the only goal, and the final score there was Manchester United 1, Bournemouth 0. So just to remind you here from Turner Dice, we're back on Friday night with uh, Scott Sport Extra Time on Scottish Television and a 90-minute edition of Scott Sport on Sunday afternoon at 5 o'clock. Premier League action in the Littlewoods Cup semi-final second leg between Bristol City and Nottingham Forest. Joe Jordan against Brian Clough. Also curling the Scottish Championships from Kirkcaldy. Until later in the week then, from all of us here at Tannadice, it's goodbye and good night.